Scrape, stop, and squish. The Department of Agriculture wants your help to get rid of lanternfly eggs. And this is the time of year you will find them just about everywhere. ABC 27 senior investigator Kendra Nichols reports. If you are outside, keep an eye out for something that looks like this, similar to a smear of mud or putty. Inside, lanternfly eggs. And you'll see egg masses on anything outside. It doesn't have to be a tree. Uh, they will lay them on a rock, lawn furniture, side of a building, anywhere. And if you see one, the Department of Agriculture wants you to get rid of it. Scrape it off and make sure that you squish the little rows of eggs underneath that protective coating. Every mass you scrape off and kill, that's 30 to 60 lanternflies you won't see next spring. The invasive plant hopper native to Asia was first spotted in Pennsylvania and Berks County in 2014. Efforts started immediately to manage the insect since it has an impact on grapevines, fruit trees, and the timber industry. They've affected agriculture, but they have affected everyday Pennsylvanians because of their, you know, their annoyance. In 2019, an economic impact study estimated if the lanternfly wasn't controlled, it would cost the state $324 million a year. Eight years after it was first spotted in the Keystone State, it is unlikely it will disappear. At this point, we don't think it's possible to get rid of them completely. They are, uh, you know, diminishing in some places. Uh, but again, you know, land, a few lanternflies can turn into a lot of lanternflies next year. So it's very difficult to predict where they will crop up. Um, we just are working very hard to try and keep them from spreading to new areas. Another way you can help stop the spread of lanternflies is check your car before you travel. Make sure you're not taking any lanternflies along with you on the ride. This helps them get to other areas, lay eggs and spread. Kendra Nichols, ABC 27 News.